And we're back from more Nancy Drew. I mean, wait. We're back for more Joe Hardy. That's right, folks. I have got myself a whole bunch of fish. No, those are shells. I've got a whole bunch of fish. Those are still shells. Where the heck are my fish? There we are. Six of the big guys. And uh, we've actually... No, it's no more bait. Yeah, once I hit six, it actually uh, told me I was out of bait, so... I am out of bait. Now, I don't know how often these uh, shells spawn here. But, uh, oh, that one definitely was a respawn. Oh, I just went here. I want to grab the shells while we're down here before we go back and uh, deal with the fish. Because I have a feeling we're going to have to make a necklace. Just guessing, but that's my thought. Ooh, pretty ocean is pretty. Alright, that should hopefully do it. Man, those ocean waves are lovely. Beautiful scenery here. Where's our pretty surf instructor? Sorry, courageous. He's a courageous surf instructor. Hey, what's going on? What else do you like to do besides surf? Nothing. Uh, what about the wild parties, man? <laughs> I bet you like to play video games. That's pretty funny, actually. Oh, come on. You like to ride motorcycles, go to wild parties, pig out on shave ice? Tell me. I surf till it gets too dark, I come home, I eat, I go to bed, I get up, I surf till I gotta start teaching, I help my dad, that's it. That's my life. Hmm. Think that'll change when you win the championship? You bet it will. My dad told me if I win, he'll hire somebody to take my place here, which means I'll finally be able to surf all day. See, what you don't seem to understand is, I get all the kicks I'll ever need out there on my board. Wow, she really does... Fit that stereotype. Okay. Catch you later. It's been real. It has been real. All right, we're gonna go talk to dear old dad over here. Ooh, we want to shave ice soon. Don't worry, soon we're gonna get some of that. Hi there. Joe, what are you doing here? You should be out there surfing. Pua says you're a natural. Pua does. She does? Oh, come on. She probably says that about all her students. No, she doesn't. In fact, I can't repeat what she says about some of them. So, how'd you like that earthquake? It was kind of scary. Frankly, it was kind of scary. Got my heart going, that's for sure. Pele must be mad about something. Who's Pele? Pele? Hawaiian goddess of fire. Her home is in Kilauea Volcano. When she's mad, she makes the ground shake. When she's really mad, she sends lava down the mountain to gobble up her enemies. Oh. You mean you've got Kane Okala and Pele running around wreaking havoc out there? Compared to Pele, Kane Okala is a noisy little fly. He's nothing. Wow. But enough about Pele. Go, get outside. You're in paradise. Enjoy. Well, I just spent like half an hour fishing. Those fish you wanted me to catch? Well, here they are. What do you think? Hey, you did it. Wasn't sure you were ready for him, but looks like I'm gonna have to stock the store with Ulua bait from now on. Tell Pua as soon as I'm done here, I'm driving up to Hilo. Last I saw, she was still trying to teach Frank how to surf. Your brother's a slow learner, huh? Welcome to my world, Mr. Mapu. Have a nice drive. <laughs> wow! Joe, shots fired. Okay, so we gotta go cash in our uh, fishies here. Hello, I'm back, party animal lady girl. Hey, what's going on? Trade me, trade me. Trade you these fish for some Big Island bucks. Let's see what you've got. Looking good. There you go. Whoa. Oh, those are only really worth one. Okay, what else? Uh, nothing. I'll stop bugging you for now. Book them, Dano. Whoa, what does that even mean? Bookum Dano. Where is brother, anyways? Where is Frank? Uh, well. Uh, 
I guess we should go and see if uh, Mike's still here. He is not. Time to be nosy. Ah, alone at last. Finally. 3-5 delivery from JK. March 5th. Delivery from JK exclamation point exclamation point. Wonder who or what JK is. Whoa, there's a key here too. Okay. Like that's gonna unlock this thing. Uh well, I mean I just got a key. So we So if I were green trigger rock, where would I be? Uh three finger rock. That's what that bug doctor must have said. Three finger rock. I'd better call Nancy with these coordinates. We got coordinates. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is oh. currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Nance, good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by west 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Hey! Ugh. Ugh. Whoa, we hey, got Nance. hit Good with news. an R. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by west 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> How does that help? Uh, maybe we just have to get in the Jeep? Where's my Jeep? Okay, bring it up. Uh, we need to enter in coordinates. Do I have to type them? I wonder if I probably do, right? 19. Uh, 24. 42. Longitude was west. Yep. One five zero nine and zero one. Check mark, please. Excellent. Take me to Three Finger Rock, please. Uh. Those kind of look like toes, but sure, they're fingers. Let's go on the pathway here. Hmm. What is that sound? Somebody's whispering. Hello? Nancy's here. Where am I going? Is there bugs nearby? Is that why this Dr. Kim is here? Yellow. Oh boy. So there's no snakes. Purple. Somebody's backpacks here. Uh... Oh! What the heck is that supposed to mean? Hmm... Oh, yeah. Who said that? Okay, I guess we'll turn around then. the same spot. Oh wait, what's over here? Uh Okay. I just grabbed something from here. Purple. Not 
not sure why I needed to do that, but... Let's go... This way, I guess. Uh, there's only like one way to go here. This is where I came from. Oh, what's this? Aha! I have no idea what I'm doing here. Grabbing bugs, maybe? But I haven't even found the doctor yet. Oh, there's our jeep. Uh, I don't think we want to get in our jeep. <sighs> um, sure. Where am I supposed to go here? Can't even tell here. Nancy needs a map! It's the one arrow this way. Ah, blue one. Sure, we'll do this. Whatever this is. Yummy bananas. Um, back to the bridge now. Okay. Yellow. Wait a minute, what do I have? I don't have yellow. Oh, where the heck's the yellow? Aha! Well, we're collecting these, whatever they're for, I don't know, but uh, Nancy's getting ahead of the game here. She's just so good. Look at these great colors. Hopefully I don't have to do them again. Where the heck are the human beings? Uh, no, so this is just a dead end. Well... Sure here. Looks like a winch. Oh, there we are. Holy cow. Hello? Are you Dr. Cam? Yes, your timing couldn't be better. Nancy Drew, I presume? That's me. Terrific, because if you're Nancy, then you know who I am, and we can skip any further time-consuming introductory rigmarole and get right to work. Sound good? May I ask you a question first? <sighs> Make it fast. We've got a lot of work to do. What would you like me to call you? Dr. Kim? Please. Just call me Quigley. Hearing someone call me Dr. Kim makes me think of my father. He was a herpetologist. He collected snakes. Whereas I, from a very young age, collected insects. A hobby which he wholeheartedly endorsed. Of course, this was because he was secretly feeding my insects to his snakes. <laughs> and to this day, I hate snakes. There are no snakes in Hawaii, you know. No native species, at least. Nuts. If you're going to work for me, you cannot let this happen. What, what happened? What? what? What happened? In case you hadn't noticed, I'm totally off subject here. I have a very bad habit of digressing. So from here on out, it's your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Okay. Good. Now, I'm roped into this tree so I can observe a nest of parasitic wasps. I believe it's a nest of Pristomeris hawaiianus. But Hymenoptera aren't really my thing, so I could be wrong. As you know, I'm much more interested in Lepidoptera, the larva of which many wasps prey upon. Specifically, I'm studying Norsa Beta odorata, which, interestingly enough, are carnivores themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ichneumonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva of the Norsa Beta, although I... Nancy, I'm digressing here, <laughs> am I not? 
Oops! I didn't know. I thought you were just doing what you do. I know, but what you were saying was so interesting, I didn't have the heart to stop you. Oh, well, point taken, but try not to let it happen again. So, let's get to work, shall we? Where's the clipboard? What clipboard? I told you to bring my clipboard when we talked on the radio. Oh, well, we could barely hear you. I couldn't hear you. You kept cutting in and out. I don't know, Nancy. You're getting off to a pretty shaky star <laughs> here. <laughs> Oh, the Nancy. Get my clipboard, the quicker we can get started. Oh shoot! I forgot to tell her that somebody trashed her camp. Oh, Nancy. Can I tell her? Yoo-hoo! Quigley! I'm not coming down until you get my clipboard. All right, clipboard it is. Let's race back to the jeep. I love the jeep, though. The jeep's pretty cool. And we're gonna go back to the camp. Navigazing technology. All right, clipboard. Where the heck are you? I think we left that on. Uh, hmm. I think I saw it here. Let's see. Is it in here? Oh, jeez. It can't be in that thing. No way. Uh, it's gotta be here somewhere. Aha! We got it. I knew I remembered it. Back to the Jeep we go. Nate's just getting good with his Jeep. Just to keep it out of the ditches, though. I love that we're not driving. Oh my gosh. What was the, the twister one there where you had to drive all the time? Okay, here we go. Race to the end. I much prefer to be out on foot. There we are. Hi there. Quigley. You've got my clipboard. Good. Let me have it. The first page is gone. Why'd you tear it off? I, I didn't tear it off. Then where is it? Nancy, I asked you to get my clipboard. How could you screw up something as simple as that? I didn't tear that page off. Whoever trashed your camp did. Trash my camp? What are you talking about? When I got there, your camp was a mess. It still is. It's like someone came in and just tore the place apart. Oh. Yeah. I tried to tell you over the radio, but the transmission kept breaking up. Well, life goes on. That missing page was critical, but fortunately, it was not irreplaceable. I'll just have to collect and analyze all the data again. Or should I say, you'll have to. Uh, well, I could quit and go surf instead. What kind of data? You'll need to locate all my frass jars and empty each one into a color-coded baggie. Each jar will have baggies hanging nearby. Then return to my base camp, sort the contents, record your counts, run them through my formula, and report back to me. Uh, could you maybe repeat that? It's all on the clipboard. Just do exactly what my notes say and you'll be fine. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, but I'm on the verge of making a huge discovery here, Nancy. Huge! If the figure you arrive at confirms the one I arrived at yesterday, we are talking major, big-time, worldwide fame! We'll be on Oprah, late night talk shows, somebody might even make a movie about this. In fact, I met this producer when I was in LA last year. Well, he hasn't produced anything yet, but he has this thing about butterflies, so as you can imagine, we hit it off. Quigley! What? You're digressing? Yeah, oh, Quigley. Right. Well, just get going. I'll give you the whole scoop after you do that analysis. Fame and fortune await! Woohoo! Okay, Quigley, bye! <laughs> Enjoy your bugs. Well, I have them all, so I guess we'll just go back to the camp and figure it out. Back to the Jeep. 
Oh, I thought I heard something there. Uh, couldn't it? If we had walkie-talkies, that would have made it a little easier there, Quigley. Let's go. Well, I guess the CB radio is not working properly. Alright, let's see here. So... Uh, oh no, the microscope lens is broken. How am I going to do all that press sorting stuff without a microscope? Hmm, where could I find a spare lens around here? Um, I have no idea. Not, not a spare lens, apparently. Hmm. Well... Anything over here interesting? No. Hello, Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Come in, please. Dr. Kim, hello. Hello. Ugh. That's no good. Okay, looks like we gotta do stuff. Good grief. Um, vegetative code, vegetative frass, weight, number of seeds. Note and identify proximate vegetation, record code in analysis grid on clipboard. I'm going to have to identify the plants the traps are hanging next to? Yikes. Place contents of baggie under microscope. Remove and sort all the non-fras objects. Seeds, insect parts, fras. Oh, fras are like larvae and stuff. Okay. Note weight of fras and record in analysis grid on clipboard. Most numerous fras. Detrimus predominance. Repeat above steps for all six. Shoot, I, uh, I thought there was only four. Okay. Analyze samples. Put frags into empty test tube. Add two drops of BQ-19. Oh boy. Yeah, I only have four. Red, blue, yeah, there's definitely six of them. I may not be able to do this until I gather all six. Alright, well, I guess we're going to be heading back there, and we'll be back for more Nancy Drew very soon. Thank you all for watching.